bow down Look who turned to a clown now I came back like a Marianne You fell off like bow wow. you ain't got no Oh my god Oh my god, hey goodies. And if you guys don't know who I am, it's the first time you see me. My name is Lani Good. I call all my supporters goodies. Do you understand? My goodies, my goodies, my goodies, not my goodies. Uh uh uh. I'm trying to be little John there. Cause I actually can't imitate him at all. But what's popping? What's good? What's actually good? A lot of people have been worried about me because I've been MIA, but I actually haven't been MIA. That's the wickedest thing. Like, it looks like I've been MIA and I've been quiet on socials. But guys, I've just been, you know, conniving, 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 planning and conniving behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Cooking and stirring, cooking and stirring. Get me, man's been bagging it up. Man's been bagging it up. What? Man's on job. <laughs> bow, bow. Man's on job. Like, don't worry about it. Like, I've been working, so... Um, I've been, what have I been up to? Um, yeah, I've been filming. <laughs> I've been filming. I've been filming. So you're going to see me on your screen, small, small. Um, what else have I been doing? Just, just, just stuff. Um, I'm going to drop, like, I'm going to drop some songs this year. Like, come on, like, <laughs> I can't let my goodies down and I'm gonna have merch for once. Jealous that. Anyway, you didn't click on this video just to hear about where what I've been doing and all that stuff. You came here for a show. You came here for a show. You came here for some shade. So I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give you what you want. I'm gonna give you what you need. Now this is gonna be a story time slash advice, but I don't want anyone to shoot me because it doesn't mean that because I'm giving this advice that I know Wagwan. It doesn't mean that what I'm saying I know for certain. This is just in my experience. This is just in my experience. This is what I believe. Do you understand? This is what I believe. And if you don't want to be shagged like I've been shagged, I think you should follow my advice. Now I'm gonna start the story time by saying this year don't don't waste no time don't have any sympathy for a small one for a small one don't don't have any sympathy don't waste any time on a small one that is my advice to you 110 percent and a lot of people have been like why do you say that why do you say that it's about the the person and who they are at their core and whether or not they love you whether they're god fearing whether they, they love their mama I'm telling you, a lot of these men, that they're bastards. They will shag you, butters, broke, and small dingling. So you're gonna get shagged, you're gonna be taken for idiot for, you're gonna be taken for idiot by a small one. You're gonna be taken for idiot by a small one. Sister, you deep in this. You are going to allow an ugly broke guy with a small one to take you for idiot. No, no, no. <laughs> It can't run around here. I say it can't run, but I have had that happen to me. But it can't run no more. It can't run no run. It can't run no more. If it's small, stop trying to be this deep, nice person. Get your shit and bounce. Okay? Do you want me to say it louder? If it's small, stop trying to be a nice person. Get your shit and bounce. Because you don't want what happened to me to happen to you. Okay? So I'm going to tell you numero one. Because unfortunately, I've been in these unfortunate circumstances twice. I'm ashamed of it. I'm ashamed of myself. I should have known better. What is wrong with me? What is actually wrong with me? Did I not get enough hugs when I was small? How can I allow such humiliation, such embarrassment how can i allow to be treated like a chewing gum girl how can i allow it but i allowed it though i allowed it though and you shouldn't you do not want to end up like me be, be telling even if you don't tell anyone the fact that you did this it would just you'll just be ashamed of yourself so i'm gonna start from the top i was talking to this one guy <laughs> i was talking to this one guy some girls would say he's fine 
it's, it, I, I don't I don't freaking know in it because I don't see him in the same light anymore. Um, very masculine. Like, as females, we like masculine men. Men that can command a room. A man that can choke you, you understand? Choke you on the bed and tell you, this is what I'm finna do to you. I'm gonna choke him and give it to you. That's what we like. Or a man that says, shut up. Sit down. You're like, oh my God. <laughs> yes, daddy. <laughs> That's what we like. So, I was dating this one guy. He was masculine, like I said. Tall. Mmm, chocolate. You know? The ideal. The ideal guy. The ideal guy. And, um... <laughs> it was going well. It wasn't long, by the way. It was like two months. It was going really well for the first... I would say it was going well for the first month. Very romantic. We used to meet up and just lips in his car. And it wasn't even COVID. Um, it's because, like, we... Okay, um, I don't want to give too much away, but we met in his car for convenience, for a reason. He wasn't that far from me sometimes, so you just, like, meet me quickly. And we would kiss and stuff. And it was really, 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 really sweet. But anyway, after we, we've been talking for a while, I don't want to say too much because I don't want people to clock who it is because I can't be fucking asked to deal with this drama because I don't care about you. I couldn't care less about you. So, um, and there's so much to this story. Um, there's so much to this story. There's reasons I really don't fuck with this person. Like, I really don't fuck with this person at all zero at all like bye so um like he just did me dirty but not like there's levels of dirty he didn't do, do me like tw dirty you know what i mean so anyway um it's going well for the first month and then like maybe six weeks later um he tells me that he he has a place because he i suppose lived at home so he said he had a place Anyway, it doesn't matter about the details because don't want no one to clock, but I went to this place. Oh, this place. Um, really nice place. And um, it was the night. He had alcohol, um, the mood. He was like... What can I even say? He was like... Being quite nice and affectionate and loving, he was like... I get, he was being sweet. I think he was like putting his arm around me and... Just being romantic. He was a he was a romantic guy in touch with his feelings. You know, all the good stuff that a woman wants from a man. I thought I was the apple of his eye. And then we went, I think we started kissing. I'm not gonna lie to you, the kisses weren't the best kisses in the world. Loads of men can't kiss. I mean, write in the comments below if you agree with me. Loads of men can't kiss to save their life. So yeah, anyway, the guy. Like he was kissing me or whatever. The kisses weren't all that. They were they were okay, but at the end of the day, that's something you can work on. But um, you know, I must have been hella desperate because I should have known from the kisses that this was just. I should have been like abort mission. E -R, e -R, e -R, e -R, abort mission. I should have known from there. I should have known from there. Like what the fuck? Like, but I stayed because I was an idiot. I actually stayed. So he's lips in me. The, like I said, the kisses were rubbish. And then we proceeded to go to the bedroom. Bitch. I'm ashamed. We went to the bedroom for why? For disappointment. For disappointment. And me, the problem with me is I'm a very polite person. I'm a very nice person. I don't want to hurt no one's feelings. That is one of my biggest flaws and I wish I wasn't like that because a girl who is able to hurt someone's feelings is a girl that puts themselves first, all right? A girl that speaks her truth and stands up for herself is a girl that puts herself first, all right? But me, no, I wanted to be polite. So, he um, was um, doing the do. Um, there was a bit of foreplay. Um, the foreplay was okay, but if you're not a good kisser, your full play is not going to be all that either, so it's just a waste of my fucking time, wasn't it? <laughs> waste of my time, wasn't it? So yeah, it was a bit of that. Yeah, I would say three out of ten. Very aggressive with it, you know. Are you trying to bite it off, or uh, I just don't understand. It's not that difficult. Just nice pressure. Do you know what I mean? nice pressure around the area we don't need you don't need to be trying to you know f fucking kill me do, do you know what i mean you don't need to be you know trying to 
Oh, yeah, I'm going to give it to you. Good. Sensitive down there, darling. All right. So he was doing that. And then I thought, anyway, you know, he's very tall, very big. So, I mean, for a good night, at least in one area. In one area, I'm in for a good night. So, um... I was excited, waiting, waiting, waiting. And then, ta-da! Finally reveals itself. And <laughs> just, it's really short. <laughs> it's just really short. <laughs> it's really short. If I wanted to be with a woman, I would have um, been with one. Do you know what I mean? If I wanted to be with a woman, then I would have been with a woman. What's going on here? It was very, very, very short. Very disappointing. <laughs> just, just, just. <laughs> now, let's get to the juicy part of the story, right? The whole night was just shit, because, um, I like a bit more. Um, I like someone to bring a bit more to the to the to the to the to the to the, to, to the table um, in that um, aspect of life. I like it to be a bit of a something. You know what I mean? I like I like to I like the walls to feel like they're being shooketh. Do you know what I mean? So for me, it's just just not working out. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day. I haven't had success in love. I'm a single woman. Where am I going wrong? Maybe I need to be a bit deeper. Go a bit deeper. It doesn't matter if someone's got a thumb. All right? It doesn't matter if someone's got a thumb. Go a bit deeper with it. What is a person's heart? What is a person's soul? So, I thought I'm gonna look past it we can work on it. It's not It's not all about what it is. It's about the motion of the ocean. That's what they say, right? This is a lot of crap, a lot of bullshit. Write in the comments if you agree with that because I think that's a lot of shit. Because how can you move the boat? You know when it's like the motion of the ocean? So obviously there's a boat, right? And this metaphor that people have made up. So how can you move the boat and have the motion of the ocean if, 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 they, if there is no... There is, there is, there is not enough boats, okay? Like, do you not understand what I'm saying? How can you make something move if there's nothing to move it? All you have is a thumb, my nigga. Like, you, it's, just, it's just not working, okay? So, um, and and guys, I'm embarrassed to say that I, I'm, I performed, um, an act that you do with your mouth, um, on on the thumb. I did. <laughs> I can't believe it. So ashamed of myself. So, yep. It was disappointing. Um, so, yeah, after that, this is where it gets juicy, like I said. After that, um, a couple of weeks later, he decided to start acting up. Start acting bougie, brand new. Um, started, um, I couldn't get through to him all the time. Do you understand what I'm saying? He was being a bit... Like, you know guys when they want to be play hot and cold and hard to get? Uh, that's what I thought was happening, but that was far from the case. It just so happened that the reason that I couldn't get through to him was because... He hadn't completely tied all the ends of a past relationship. <laughs> applause! Applause! Should I get out of the car and clap on the street? Applause! I want to be. I just, just put my window down. Should I just put? Oh, my car is off. Oh my! I should open the door. Just in the street. Just, just, just. Yes. Ah, yes. Brilliant. Couldn't make it up if I tried. A fucking fantastic. He's just fucking great. Oh, fucking great. He had a whole situation. You know what I mean? I compromised. I compromised. Settled. I compromised for you. I wasn't satisfied with you and you have the audacity, the cheek. The absolute cheek and balls. 
To be a F boy? To be a bastard? Really? Really? I mean, you just have to look at yourself in the mirror at that point and say, um, I have, I have reached uh, the bottom of like a new, a new, a new low. Like, I don't know if there's anything. There's, there's, there's no lower than this. There's, they have reached a new level of low. So anybody that comes to tell you, oh, sometimes give a person a chance, be deeper, go for the soul, ban that. You can go for the soul, but make sure there's girth, okay? And length. Girth and length is strength. That's what you deserve, boo. Girth and length. All right? Don't let anyone tell you any different. So I'm just gonna wrap up with a mini story time about the second time I did it. Yes, I didn't learn. It wasn't with the same guys of another brother. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh my God. This one wasn't tall and dark skin. He was actually short and a lighty. However, I have sometimes, you know, cause I've seen a lighty put, pull it out before and it was like whoa whoa that is a happy surprise so sometimes it can be a happy surprise guys so um <laughs> jesus christ me and this guy i think i already at this point liked him as per usual like i'm so yo okay so the last mini story time before i leave just mini miniature story time is um yeah so the guy was um caribbean <laughs> i know it's a bit different for me but you know you have to try these things um yep smaller than the one before absolute disappointment um we fell out it, he was so rude to me and this one it was just a joke because we didn't even get that far it was just a bit of If you know what I mean. And it was just a thumb. I said, what is wrong? I'm so polite. I'm so polite that if I've been talking to someone and they whip it out, rather than me to be like, you know what? I'm not in the mood. I'll just go with it. I'll just go with it because I think I don't like you for what you have. I like you for who you are. I like you for who you are. Bullshit. Don't worry about liking them for who they are. Don't, because it's the ones with the thumbs that are out here being foul to women. Because they're insecure about their small, deformed thingies. It's not our fault that your stuff is small and deformed, bro. That is your business. You go talk to God about that. And when you find that one woman who accepts you, because you know these guys cheat. They go around cheating and embarrassing themselves and that woman with their small thumb because once you find out that they have a small thumb it's not just them that you look at and think oh my god are you not ashamed you actually look at that girl and say that's what you're working with sis do you know what i'm saying and really 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 we didn't have to know that that's what she was working with and you guys are doing couple goals couple goals but really i know i know the secret now sis like you're doing couple goals but really that's what you're dealing with it's a, it's, a, it's a bit embarrassing. A thumb. What is that? What is that? So anyway, it's just this this guy just was so rude to me afterwards. Like not after, just in general. Like we had some issues. I can't. I, the th problem is if I tell you everything, like you like. Excuse me, the people will clock who they are and then they're just gonna come for me and I don't wanna give them any clout and I don't give a shit about them and they can piss off. And even if they come out now, I'm still gonna air you. <laughs> I'm gonna air you. So, um, let's just say um, me and him spoke regularly outside of just leisure or getting to know each other. Um, we had a, ven a venture together type of thing. So, I then found out that, yeah, he was he had a person with his small dingling just ashamed and embarrassed and i kept having flashbacks i kept having flashbacks when i was on my own of the fact that why did i on the thumb i kept having flashbacks of it just embarrassed and ashamed of myself and you know what i need to sit down on my knees not sit down kneel on my knees and just ask god for forgiveness god i am I, actually let's just do it now right let's just do it now come on guys moment of silence let's just do it now <sighs> dear god 
I just want you... Guys, this is not a joke. This is me being dead ass serious. Dear God, I just want you to know that I've learned from my mistakes and I'm going to do better. And I'm not, I'm going to love myself. I'm going to love myself more to know what I deserve. And I'm going to go for what I want and what I deserve and for what my desires. And I'm not going to compromise and settle um, out of out of desperation and out of being daft i'm going to use my brain and i'm going to be assertive and, and know my worth and know that i'm banging and i'm a hundred percent and i'm that girl and that i deserve the world and i deserve everything that i want and i'm not going to compromise because when i compromise the devil shows me who, who he is i just want to thank you for loving me for looking after me thank you for um um watching over my youtube channel and everything and like just giving me all the blessings you gave me last year and this year i love you so much much. please um look after my goodies because they're my angels and please um please may you stop this pandemic anyway um love you lots amen okay guys i hope you enjoyed my story time <laughs> gang 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 all right until next time and guys i am back but i just want you to know that um I just want you guys to know that even though a lot of you are like, oh, Lani, you know, where you been, la, la, la. Like, you guys are going to get annoyed with me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I'm in, in about a month, you know, I'm going to be... I'm just going to be everywhere. And it's, 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 so, you know, be careful what you are asked for. Be careful what you ask for. Anyway, love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Bitch bow down, look who turned to a clown now I came back like a Marianne, you fell off like bow